back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a lovely Friday so far. Today's video is a very highly requested one. A lot of you guys have been asking me about hyperpigmentation. It's a very long word, but basically what it means is dark patches of color on the skin. For me, I have dark spots here. I have a little bit of hyperpigmentation around my cheeks, and I also have really thin skin, meaning that you can see almost the veins um, underneath my skin on my face. So today I'll be showing you guys very close up what my skin looks like. I'll be zooming real close so you can really see what hyperpigmentation looks like and where the dark spots are and what kind of things you can do in terms of skincare and makeup which really helps smooth everything out. So if you guys want to see what my tips and tricks are, keep watching. And of course if you guys want to see more videos like this one, more skincare type videos, make sure you let me know in the comment section below what other videos you guys want to see. Give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so I know to make more. All right, are you guys ready? Let's get started. All right, step one, I always start with a pore correcting treatment like this one from Guerlain. It helps tighten and minimizes the appearance of pores. I just use a quarter size amount and apply this all over the face, pressing it in with my fingers to make sure it really absorbs. Step two, I follow this with the Makeup Forever Color Corrector. Using the green color, I'm going to hide redness around the nose. Then using the beige color, I'm going to correct the under eye circles and going over any areas using the color correcting chart to help cancel out dark circles and redness. Then using the pink color to hide any dullness in the skin. P.S. This dual brush from Charlotte Tilbury is so good for color correcting. I'm just going to flip it over and use a bigger head to blend it out. Step 3, time for a powerhouse duo for pigmentation. I love using the It Cosmetics CC Cream with SPF 50 along with a few drops of the Biosyn Squalene and Vitamin C Rose Oil. SPF is really important in preventing more dark spots and patches from coming out and the Vitamin C serums have been shown to help fade pigmentation. I just mix these two together with my MAC foundation brush and I'm going to paint this on. I know it looks a bit pale but don't worry that's what we want. If you ever notice, over the course of the day, especially in the summer, your foundation actually oxidizes and gets darker so keep that in mind when you're applying foundation. Then taking my damp beauty blender, I'm going to blend this all out. Of course makeup can cover it up, but the ingredients that I use like SPF, vitamin C, rose oil, and the pore correcting treatment will help in preventing more pigmentation and dark spots from coming up. Now to finish this off, I'll be sweeping over my recent favorite Coconut Perfect Tan in 104 from Marc Jacobs all over the face. I'm absolutely in love with this bronzer because it doesn't go on muddy and leaves a beautiful coconutty smell. And last but not least, I'm going to apply my go-to blush at the moment, the NARS Loves Me Not blush. It looks very light and at first I was like, is this even going to show up? But it's a beautiful natural pink that builds upon layers and I'm obsessed with it. Also, this IT Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe blush brush is the bee's knees. So fluffy, soft, and perfect to apply a blush with. And now, we're done! And there it is. Those are my tips and tricks for hyperpigmentation. There are definitely some really great skincare products you can use to help lighten those dark patches up and also good foundations that have SPF in them to prevent them from getting worse, obviously. Because what happens is sometimes being in the sun, you can actually darken those patches if they're dark spots for sure. So it's really nice to always have SPF with you. Make sure that you're wearing sunscreen to prevent more from coming out. We want to just try and lessen the hyperpigmentation that we are have on our skin. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful and if you did make sure you subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up and make sure you comment below and let me know what other videos you guys want to see. I love you guys, thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you all very soon in my next one. Bye!